Welcome to Distributed Systems and Blockchain in News. My name is Thomas Bocek and this is a short weekly summary of interesting news that is relevant to my Distributed Systems and Blockchain lecture here at the Eastern University of Applied Sciences in Switzerland. So finally, after a long search, the creator of Bitcoin, Satoshi Nakamoto, is still not found. But what we can say, it's not this guy here. There is a new Satoshi Nakamoto candidate. It's the following article here. Len Sassman from HBO's new documentary Money Electric. This is not confirmed yet, but the prediction markets where you can bet with your USDCs says that 36% Think that HBO thinks it's here Len Sassman. So finally some hard evidence. The Bitcoin mystery could say that Len Sassman, a key figure in cyberpunk movement, could be the creator of Bitcoin known as Satoshi Nakamoto. Sassman, who died in 2011, had a significant role in advancing cryptography and privacy-enhancing technologies. This film argues that his deep involvement in these areas, as well as his connections to key cryptographers like Dave Schaum and Bart Reneal, make him a compelling candidate for Satoshi. Although the film presents some evidence supporting this claim, filmmaker Colin Hoback acknowledges that the mystery is likely to continue sparking debate. Len Sassman's background in cryptography and his active involvement in the cyberpunk community where Bitcoin was first introduced add weight to the documentary's claim. While the idea that Sassman is Satoshi Nakamoto is intriguing, others in the crypto community remain skeptical with some continuing to believe that Hal Finney, another prominent figure in the field, may be the true creator. Regardless of who Satoshi Nakamoto is, Sassman's influence on the development of Bitcoin and his contributions to the crypto space are indisputable. The next article is about stablecoins, which is also a topic of our challenge task here at the Eastern University of Applied Sciences. It's the following article here. PayPal recently completed its first business payment using its stablecoin PYUSD by settling an invoice with Ernest & Young on September 2024. The transaction showcased the potential of stablecoins in business-to-business -business payments. Stablecoins such as PYUSD are designed to track traditional currencies like US dollar offering faster, more secure and cost-effective alternatives to traditional payment methods. PayPal's senior vice president emphasized that the enterprise environment is particularly well suited for stablecoin transactions, especially for cross-border payments that can often be slow and expensive. And if we look at DeFi Llama, it's already listed and we see a market capitalization of 728 million US dollars. While stablecoins like Tether have already been used in international business payments, PayPal's move highlights the growing appeal of stablecoins in the corporate world. Businesses, especially in countries with volatile currencies, are increasingly using stablecoins to benefit from quicker settlement times and reduced reliance on third parties. The next article is about rock pools. It's an explainer from Cointelegraph is the following article here. And a uh, rock pool in cryptocurrency is a type of a scam where developers suddenly abandon a project after collecting investors' money, leaving them with worthless tokens. It often happens in decentralized finance where regulation are lacking. Fraudsters create excitement around the project, get people to invest in tokens, then sell off their holdings and disappear, causing the token value to decrease significantly. This is similar to a game where players are left empty-handed after organizers run off with the money. There are several ways to spot a rock pool. Key red flag include unknown developers, no liquidity lock, meaning creators can withdraw funds at any time, 
and suspicious price fluctuations with few token holders. Additionally, projects promising very high returns or lacking external audits are often risky. Testing whether tokens can be sold immediately after purchase can also reveal potential fraud. Rug pulls can be executed in different ways, such as manipulating smart contracts, dumping tokens to crash their value, or limiting sale orders for regular investors. Though illegal in many countries, the anonymous and decentralized nature of crypto makes it hard to catch scammers. Regulatory bodies are trying to improve oversight and recent laws like the European Union's MiCA regulations aim to better protect crypto investors. With respect to rock pulls and scams, the last article is about the Lego coin, which is a scam that happened recently. Lego's website was briefly hacked and a fake Lego coin cryptocurrency scam appeared on its homepage for about 75 minutes on October 5th. The scam encouraged users to buy the fake token, promising secret rewards, but the link led to a phishing site. A Lego fan spotted the issue, shared it online and Lego quickly removed the scam from its homepage. The company stated that no user accounts were affected and they are taking steps to prevent future incidents. It was not revealed how much fell for this scam. This is a gentle reminder that the crypto world is wild west and you need to make sure your tokens, your investments, your cryptocurrencies stay safe.